Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the all-new Ford Maverick XLT versus a Lariat. And one of our testers is this 2022 Ford Maverick Lariat with the Lariat Luxury Package. It's finished in cyber orange metallic. And our second tester is this 2022 Ford Maverick XLT with the Premium Package finished in Area 51. And starting on the outside, I want to go over some key differences on the design aspect of both of these trim levels. Starting here on the Lariat Maverick. Start here with the headlights. The Lariat does get a different headlight design. We do have the additional LED daytime running light on top versus what we see here on the XLT, where it is just a, a shiny sort of chrome part here. And the turn signal, both the same. We do have the halogen turn signal with the LED reflector headlight. Same here on the Lariat. And looking at the grille, we do have a slightly different grille design. We have more of a, a brighter sort of chrome design here on the Lariat versus the XLT. We also do have the addition of the adaptive cruise sensor in the front of the grille. So that's pretty much it with the front end design. We do have a slightly different grille design here with the uh, accents versus the XLT. Uh, no Maverick can actually be optioned with a fog light, which is actually kind of surprising. Um, but again, we do have a slightly different front end design here on the Maverick. And looking at the wheel design of both of these Mavericks, starting here on the Lariat, we do have an 18 inch gloss black machined aluminum wheel. It's on a 225 60 R18. It's a Michelin all season tire. And looking here on the XLT, we do have a 17 inch carbonized gray painted wheel. So it's a slightly smaller diameter. It's on a 225 65 17 on a Continental all season tire. Now coming around, we both do have body colored mirrors, although we do have the Bliss system, blind spot information system here on the Lariat, whereas the XLT does just get the uh, convex mirror in the uh, corner there. And coming around to the back end, the Lariat does have a power sliding rear window, whereas the XLT does not, although you can option in a manual sliding rear window, um, but the Lariat luxury package does come with a power sliding rear window. Looking at the rear end design here, the taillights, very similar design, although we do get an additional LED strip that goes around the taillight versus here on the XLT. It's just the standard halogen light. And another difference here, this particular uh, Lariat does have the 4K uh, tow package, a 4,000 pound towing package. So we do get the additional seven pin connector right here. Now the uh, XLT can be optioned with that, but we do have the just your standard four pin connector over here. Now we just pop the tailgate down on both of these. Starting here on the Lariat, we do have the spray and bed liner, which does come with the luxury package on the Lariat. Certainly a nice feature here. We also do get box lighting. You can click that and it turns on. We also do have an inverter outlet and also the cleat system, which you can use as a slider. Multiple tie down points as well. Moving over to the XLT. Again, we do have the luxury package here on the XLT, which does come with the drop in liner. Um, you can option in a spray if you would like. But we also do get a LED box lighting and also the inverter outlet with the cleat system. And stepping inside of the Maverick XLT, we do have the keyless entry keypad right there, which is certainly a nice feature. And starting here on the door panel, we do get a nice soft touch sort of leather like material here in the armrest. We also have the orange accents all around, like on the inside of the door handle and also in the climate vents. We do have the power windows. They are one touch uh, automatic for the driver only though, um, but you also have the power mirrors, engine power locks, you do get lots of storage in the door there as well. And looking at the seat design, we do have a cloth seat here in the Maverick. Although it is very really good looking, Ford did a fantastic job with this. It has sort of that denim uh, like finish there with the orange accent stitching. We do have a power driver seat as well. And looking at the Maverick Larry, we do have an intelligent access door handle here. And again, that door entry keypad, which is certainly nice. Looking at the door panel design here, very similar design, that nice soft touch blue material here. We do have a sort of different color here. We have a nice uh, desert brown accent here, as well as on the uh, climb events there as well. Power windows, they are one touch automatic for all windows, which is certainly a nice added feature. With your power mirrors and your power locks. Again, nice lots of storage in the door. We do have the Bang & Olufsen sound system, which does come with that Lariat luxury package. Looking here at the seat design, we do have a ActiveX leather seat here in the Maverick Lariat. It has the, the blue color here with the desert brown insert. 
in the accent stitching and it is power operated both driver and passenger and now that we are inside the maverick xlt let's take a look at the key fob here this is just your standard ford switchblade key although we do have the added remote start which is a feature of the xlt luxury package now this particular xlt is a hybrid model now something with the larry is it is only offered with the two liter all-wheel drive uh, but the xlt and the xl are offered as a hybrid or the two liter so you do get that option with the xl or the xlt larry is only the two liter with the all-wheel drive but starting here on this nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel uh, which is the same on the larry we do have your cruise control over here your volume buttons and also controls here for your center gauge cluster screen and also your phone and track buttons there looking at the gauge cluster design again this is a little bit different because we do have the hybrid system so it does show the power meter uh, which is again a little bit different but we can slide through some menus here we do have your trip information we also have trips one and two or we can go back and we can cycle through your my view we also have the audio section your phone and other various settings in there as well and now that we are inside the larry maverick we'll show you the key here we do have ford's intelligent access key fob so it is something we do get with the Lariat. So we do have also remote start again, which is a part of that XL or the uh, Larry luxury package and push button start again with the uh, intelligent access key fob. So the gauge design is uh, similar, although it is um, different. We do have the larger screen there in the middle and this is a two liter again. So we do have your standard, you know, typical uh, tachometer there as well. Looking at the steering wheel, heated steering wheel again, nice leather wrapped. We also have the adaptive cruise which is something we do get with that uh, Larry luxury package and also the lane centering volume buttons controls for that screen and also your phone and track buttons and looking at some of the functions of the gauge cluster here we do have your audio phone and the settings in here and we can also go back and scroll through trip odometers you have your fuel economy status tire pressures and also the radio and looking at the infotainment screen on the xlt we do have the eight inch touchscreen display, which is standard on all Maverick models. So you can't get a smaller screen or you can't get a larger screen. This is the only screen available and it comes with every single Maverick. Now we are in the home screen here. We have our audio. We can change our sources. We have Bluetooth. We also have our phone. We can set up a Bluetooth phone. We also have various apps like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And in this settings category, we do have our Ford Pass Connect over here or general settings, ambient lighting and Wi-Fi. And moving down here, we do have your standard single zone climate control. So we can adjust this dial and it will display on the screen the temperature. We also do have the heated seat with the heated steering wheel button here with the XLT luxury package. Some USB ports, lots of storage under here with the uh, orange accents. Also our eight speed automatic transmission shifter, electronic parking brake, and also our drive mode select. So we actually do have a drive mode select. We could cycle through various drive modes, which is normal, tow haul, slippery, eco, and sport mode. We also have the traction control and the auto hold feature. And if we move into the middle here again, we do have Ford Sync 4 uh, eight inch touchscreen display. Same screen on the, uh, on, the lit, on the XLT over there. We have our audio. We do get the addition of Sirius XM radio, which is, which is a nice feature. Phone, you can set up your Bluetooth phone, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And again, more other settings over here as well. We do have the Ford Pass Connect with the uh, vehicle settings and Wi-Fi. But moving down, one addition with the Larry is we do get dual zone automatic climb control. So we do get the addition of the passenger uh, climb control over here. You can control both individually. We also have again the heated seats with the heated steering wheel button right here. Again, push button start. We do have a wireless charger, which we do get with the uh, Larry luxury package. We also have the power sliding rear window, so we can push this and access the power sliding rear window. We also have our USB ports there as well. Eight speed automatic transmission shifter right here, electronic parking brake, or drive mode select. Same drive modes, normal, tow haul, slippery, eco, and sport mode. We also have the traction control, auto start stop, and the auto hold feature there as well. And looking into the back seat of the Lariat Maverick, again, we do get those Active X seats back here. So it has the leather like material with the desert brown color. And another door panel here again, very similar design as the front, nice soft touch material here, as well as that desert brown accent on the armrest there. The seats also do have the console, so you can fold this down, fold the console. We also do have the uh, in-behind seat storage here, which does have the uh, tire changing kit and also the subwoofer back there for the Bang & Olufsen sound system. We do get a 120 volt outlet, 
as well as the uh, USB ports back there as well. And looking at the rear seat of the XLT Maverick. So we do have the cloth seats again, same as the front with the sort of denim accent. And we also do have the fold down center console right here. We can open that up. And again, we do have the same in behind seat storage, although we do have the uh, open spot for the subwoofer, which you would find uh, on the Lariat there. But we do have the tire changer kit back there as well. And we also do have the 120 volt and the USB outputs back there as well. So that pretty much sums up this video. I did just wanna do a quick walk around of both of these Mavericks, the XLT versus the Lariat. If you're interested in getting a Maverick just like these two, feel free to give us a call or visit mcfee4.com. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next video.